Hello everyone, welcome to DAT Kikar channel, myself Maisha Krishnappa. In this video, I will explain practically how to resolve merge conflicts using Git Bash. And in case if you are interested to learn Git with Bitbucket from basics, then I have complete course on Udemy. I have provided link in the description as well as in the comment section pinned by DAT Kikar channel and you can enroll with my link for better offers. So to explain how to resolve merge conflicts, I'm going to consider Git local repo in the remote repository. In the this example and I am going to consider scala program.scala file to explain how to resolve merge conflicts on this file. So before I proceed to clone this repository, I am going to check the commits and you can see there are four commits. Let me clone this repository to my local system. I am going to use HTTPS protocol and I am going to clone the repository to my local folder which I have created under the development folder. So I am going to right click and click on git bash here. Let me maximize this screen. So I am going to paste the command to clone. The command is git clone followed by HTTPS URL. Press and enter. So it will take some time to clone. Wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it's cloned now. So once it is cloned, I'm going to list the files under git project folder. So you can see we have git local repo. Remote repository has been cloned to your local system and changed directly to git local repo. And here you can see we are in master branch. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a local development branch from our local master branch so before that I'm going to list the branches under my repo so to list the branches the command is git branch hyphen a so here you can see we have only master branch in our repository so I'm going to create local development branch to start my develop to create a new development branch the command is git checkout hyphen b followed by dev branch name so I'm going to give dev branch as my local development branch name press and enter so now now here you can see dev branch has been created from the master branch and we have switched to dev branch so you can list the files under the dev branch and you can see three files in case if you want to list the hidden files as well then the command is ll iphone a will give you the hidden files so here you can see dot git ignore file hello world file scala program dot scala and add user info dot txt file there are four files in the remote repository and all four files have been cloned to your local repository you can see these four files let me go back to git bash command line let me clear the screen and start my development so i'm going to start my development on scala program dot scala so during my development i make one change to my scala program dot scala file so let me open it in vi editor mode press an i to insert the values so here i'm going to update value of a from 15 to 36 let me save the file so let me check the git status of my dev branch and here you can see one file has been modified and let me commit this change say git add and git commit iphone m say a value has been updated to 36 by developer i'm going to specify my name Anyways, your commit will hold the information just to differentiate messages. I'm going to specify my name in the commit. Anyways, in the real time, no need to mention your name because anyways, it will be tracked in the commit information that I already explained in the previous sections. So once you type the message, press and enter. So now you can see one file change, one insertion and one deletion. So our changes has been updated in case if you want to check the status again check the git status and you can see nothing to commit working tree is clean and all this you made in the dev branch local dev branch let me clear the screen and check for git log and here you can see your dev branch local dev branch is ahead of one commit whereas your local master and remote master branch behind one commit from your local dev branch okay during your development phase let's assume there is one more developer who is working in your team let's say developer b also made one change to the same file and he already committed the change in the remote repository okay so let me go back to my remote repository and let's assume this change is made by another developer so he has opened the scala file and developer b edited a value to 40 and developer b committed his changes let's say commit message as a value has been updated to 40 by developer b so i'm just mentioning the names just to differentiate the commits anyways developer information will be tracked in the commit information itself since I am the only one who is working on this project so 
develop information for the both the commits you will see my name and email id since i am making the changes in the both the places but to make you understand the real time scenario i am going to specify the developer names in the commit message so this change has been made by developer b and i am going to commit this change directly on master remote branch and if you check the commits here you can see new commit has been added to your master branch now i got to know there is a new commit made on the remote master branch by developer b i want to first pull those changes to my local master branch so what i am going to do i will go back to git bash first let me clear the screen first i have to pull the changes from remote master branch to my local master branch so to do that first i have to check out to local master branch to check out the command is git checkout master is the command press and enter so your branch is switched to master branch and you can see here so before i pull the changes from remote repository i am going to list the files i am going to show you view the value of a in the scala program dot scala file so here you can see in my local master branch still value of a is 15 whereas in my dev branch i have updated a value to 36 whereas developer b has updated a value to 40 in the remote repository now first i have to pull the changes made by developer b to my local master branch so let me close the file and let me pull the changes from my remote repository that is a value equals to 40 and once i pull the changes my local master a value will be replaced from 15 to 40 so to pull the changes from my remote master branch the command is git pull origin master press and enter it will take few seconds to pull the changes and here you can see one file changed one insertion and one deletion so and you, here you can see which file has been changed that is scala program dot scala so let me clear the screen and let me list the files again and let me view the a value in scala program dot scala file after pulling the changes from remote master branch copy paste the file press and enter and here you can see a value has been updated to 40 in local master branch i have a value equals to 40 now let me close this file let me check out to dev branch and check the value of a to check out to dev branch the command is git check out followed by branch name that is dev branch press and enter and you can see switch to dev branch let me list the files and let me view the scala program dot scala file and here you can see a value equals to 36 so let me close this file so now i want to merge dev branch changes with master branch to do that again let me check out to master let me clear the screen to merge my local development branch changes with my local master branch first you have to check out to master branch on which you have to merge the changes then you have to run the command git merge a branch from which you have to merge the changes so here dev branch is my branch from which i have to merge the changes to local master so the command is git merge dev branch press and enter and here you can see auto merging scala program dot scala conflict merge conflict in scala program dot scala automatic merge failed fix conflicts and then commit the result so here you can see master branch have merge conflicts so how to resolve this let me list the files and let me open the scala program dot scala file in vi editor mode and here you can see ed is nothing but master values and dev is nothing but dev branch value so here once you have a merge conflict to any of the file so file will be opened with both the values where it is creating a merge conflict so a equals to 40 is committed by developer b and a equals to 36 is committed by myself so in this scenario i have to connect with developer b who is working remotely who is my team member and i have to discuss with him why he has updated a equals to 40 and what are the possible ways to resolve this merge conflict so i will connect with my team member and we will decide let's go with 36 as a value and we can remove a equals to 40 so after our discussion i am going to clear this conflict i am going to open this file in the insert mode and i am going to remove 
lines which is not necessary from the code so i'll keep a equals to 36 as my a value and then we decided to save this change and commit the changes so i'm going to save this file and now again i'm going to run git merge dev branch command so look at this error merging is not possible because you have unmerged files fix them up in the work tree and then use git add as appropriate to mark resolution and make a commit so once you resolve the merge conflicts immediately you cannot run git merge dev branch let me check the git status and your scala program dot scala file again it has been moved to modified so you have to follow the process to commit first then you can merge the changes to do that first let me add this file to staging then let me commit say git commit iphone m followed by i'll specify this new change merge conflict resolved and press on enter so once it is done again you can check the git status nothing to commit and let me clear the screen check for git log and here you can see your local branch is ahead of one commit that is merge conflict result so we have resolved the merge conflict let me clear the screen again and list the files and let me go back and check my scala program dot scala file let me copy and paste the file name and to see the value so now the, our local master branch value has been updated from 40 to 36 after resolving our merge conflict so let me exit from this file and let me push my changes to remote repository before that let me go back to bitbucket repository and check what is the value present for a in the remote master branch file let me open scala program dot scala file and here you can see a value equals to 40 so let me go and push my changes from my local master branch the command is git push origin master lesson enter so it will take few seconds to push the changes so now you can see we have pushed the changes from our local master to remote master let me go back to my remote repository and refresh the page open scala program dot scala file and here you can see a value has been updated to 36 let me see the commit and here you can see we have merged our changes and it has created new commit called merge conflict result and in case if you are interested to learn git with bitbucket from basics then i have complete course on udemy i have provided link in the description as well as in the comment section pinned by dtk card channel and you can enroll with my link for better offers thanks for watching this video please do subscribe like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you